All right, guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer. And today we are going to embark on one of the most ambitious and unnecessary projects that this channel has ever seen. We are going to try and create our own AI assistant that is going to help us count the calories of our meals. Because only Jarvis level AI can help me lose my quarantine belly. As all good AI assistants, our Jarvis is going to take voice commands. Then, using those commands, he's going to scrape the web for the needed information, mainly calories. Then it's going to take all those calories of the foods that we consumed up until this point, and it's going to add them all up in a file, so it can be very easily accessed by us. Let's just say that I'm not only interested on what are the calories, but also, what are the macronutrients? Yep, we are going all in. We are going to scrape the web for also proteins, fiber, carbohydrates, and fats. That being said, what better file format to use than a JSON file? As a programmer myself, I'm better at reading JSON files at this point than reading an actual book, so this will work for me. Here is the JSON file we are going to use to save our scraped data. And actually, reading and writing the file is pretty simple, so let's give it a quick demo. Nice, we are almost done. Oh, really? Okay, I lied. We are not even close to done, but I gave you a warning in the beginning. So let's move to scraping some good old data from good old Google. One awesome feature of Google is that you can search for a food and after food you write calories and Google will show you a result with all the calories and nutrient information about this food ready to be scraped. This will simplify our web scraping script quite a bit because we are not going to search many web pages for this information, we are going to use only Google search engine for this. But still, I will not even try to attempt to show you how many hours I spent trying to achieve the script you are seeing now. Probably because I suck, but oh well. So the process went as follows. I spent some time researching Selenium and Beautiful Soup and a couple of other libraries in Python. And I finally landed on Beautiful Soup. Why? Well, the name sounds absolutely magnificent. And it looks pretty simple to use, as you may see. You just get, for example, the class value of a specific element you want to scrape, and then there is a function that finds all the elements with this class. Then you can do whatever you want, like read the text and that's it actually, I really don't know much more about it to be honest. Next, let's teach our AI how to speak and how to listen. Well, I've done quite a few videos on this topic of voice recognition already. You might call it an obsession with voice recognition on this channel. So this is the reason why I'm just going to leave a video in the description that is expanding more on this topic. And of course, I'm going to leave the source code for the video down in the description as well. So you guys can check it out. Before we finish up our bot, we need some test data, let's say it like this. And I'm pretty hungry, so let's go and cook some eggs. Then we are going to feed the eggs to us and we are going to feed the data to our bot. My belly is full with some healthy food. Now let's go and finish our main script before I get the urge to actually go and order some Domino's pizza instead of cooking something healthier. Basically, we are going to feed our data scraper two values, food and amount in grams. Then we have to modify our data scrape script to read the JSON file in order to know what the current values are. And then we are going to scrape the calories and macronutrients for the food we ate. In the place where you see me declaring the arrays as a separate variables, I am doing this because there are more than one elements 
in the HTML find with this specific text inside it. And apparently I'm lazy enough to do this instead of thinking of a better solution. Any better suggestions are welcomed in the comments of course. Now we are ready to actually lock our 143 grams of eggs. Choose food. Egg. How many grams? 143. Nice! Coding done, let's start cooking. I'll just talk over those juicy b-rolls I got for you. So instead of Hitran the unnecessary programmer, I will be Hitran the necessary cook. Because I really, really need to eat something healthier. As a typical Bulgarian, I like my meat and potatoes heavy on the spices. Let's crush those baked potato fries because health, you know. How close are we to a day in the life of a home cook software developer? Nice. And finally, let's of course gather all the data for our beloved Jarvis. Choose food. Potatoes. How many grams? 100. Cabbage. How many grams? 100. Choose food. Chicken thigh. How many grams? 207. You know what, that was delicious, but too healthy. Better. Let's also log this one and see our current summary. Choose food. Ice cream. How many grams? 110. Choose food. Banana. How many grams? 64. Not that bad, not that bad, but those were just two meals. I guess I'm going to eat much more by the end of the day, so we'll see. That's it for a final result and a full body transformation. See you in a couple of weeks, but eh, who are we kidding? I'm probably gonna keep eating pizza, but at least I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment, leave a suggestion how we can improve this script. Uh, your input is very appreciated. Thank you and bye!